Hello everyone, we have a custom painted Fender guitar. It is painted in one of the original sea foam green colors. And as you can see, we painted it and then we sanded on it to make it look old. Here you have a snow white pearl. It's a house of color pearl. And then you have a house of color black to give it a look. I sanded the original finish all the way off with some 320. Then I have the option to prime it or I have the option to spray some clear as a sealer. I sprayed some clear coat. Once that was dried, I sanded it again with 320 and I painted the entire guitar white. Now the reason I do that, if anyone's asking, is this color is very similar to a pastel color, which is much nicer when it has a white background. It, it really gives a kick and then you wanna have uniformity with these colors, certain colors. And the pastel look is definitely one of them. So, Here's the final result. Once I had it all based out with all the colors, I came in and I sanded on it with some 320 grit sandpaper, some 600 grit sandpaper, and some 1500 grit sandpaper. Now the guitar has some wear and tear, some chips and whatever, and we left all that to give it the vintage look which fits in with the paint job and it's all automotive solvent paint it is all house of color clear coat and all of it's protected the woods protected the wood is clear coated over so none of that is exposed it's just made to look vintage and old it was done for Steven who I'll put a link he, he has guitar tutorials he has great stuff you really need to check him out and I'm sure he'll be putting this together soon and we also added for him a one-of-a-kind custom painted fender tumbler to match his guitar and on the other side we put an abalone guitar pick right there now for those who might be asking what kind of clear coat I used I used House of Color USC 01 it is their show clear and this is the same type of clear I would use on a motorcycle custom a hot rod a low rider anything top of the line is gonna get this clear it has a hardener and a reducer and it is a 3-1-1 mixture and all of the guitar was sprayed with an automotive paint gun. So we left the original stress cracks in it. We left a, you know, we really wanted the vintage look. And I prefer to hang the guitar the way it's sitting. That way I can paint around it. If I'm grabbing the guitar and moving it around myself, then, you know, I'm going to create more dirt more probable runs i like to have it just hanging how i have it hanging and then i'll of course you got to hit all the angles because the paint gun doesn't turn the corner so you have to hit every angle and as you can see we sanded every bit to make it look old and vintage but none of it's exposed it's all clear coated it's all covered up and of course when you're spraying a your guitar i always tell people be on your best day game so you don't get runs in certain areas you won't be able to fix very well and as the original fender we just clear coated over the label so i hope you enjoy the video i hope to make more videos on custom painting guitars and how to prep them in the future please follow my page please check out my friend steven's page 
and I appreciate it. And any questions, feel free to send them my way. Thank you.